Hey everyone, it's Stan Man with Gorgeous Gardens of Utah here. We are in the kitchen. We're going to be doing some experiments today. And it is a beautiful day, as you can see here in Lehigh, Utah. Snow on the ground. Perfect day to do some gardening. So I was eating an apple yesterday. It would say Crips Pink that we got at Smith's. And I got to the core and found some interesting things there. Check this out. I've got it in paper towel right now. But, look at that. The seeds were sprouted all in the core. And I thought it was a fluke, so today, in my apple, I got to the core and it's also a Crips Pink. Check this out. Two apples, probably from the same tree, but those seeds are sprouted. Awesome, so I'm gonna plant those today. All right, they're a little big to be putting into peat pellets. You want to use the pellets when they're still seeds, not seedlings here. So I'm going to put them in my potting mix here. I'm going to supplement it with perlite. And I'm also going to use my special water that I use. I'll show you the ingredients right now. So this is Clonex, helps with the roots to grow strong. We've got Concentrase Minerals. This is a uh, very concentrated Electrolytes right here. You can see those right there comes from the Great Salt Lake and My favorite the Epsom salt as it says on there magnesium sulfate right there and Magnesium sulfur and oxygen very good for plants and then we got this one I don't have the outer packaging, but what's in here is called super thrive supposedly awesome vitamins and all that fun stuff so I'm going to combine them into my watered bottle here and I got to mark it so that it doesn't, uh, I don't go take a drink out of it and accidentally. So we just take our marker and make an X on it here. There we go. All right, then we're going to fill it up with our reverse osmosis water here and go almost to the top and we're going to put our drops in it. Alrighty, here we go. And the Clonex is pretty simple. You just do uh, about three to five drops. Concentrates here. Same thing, just a few drops. There we go. And this has already been mixed up. This is the Epsom salt. I usually do seven of those. And then Super Thrive is highly concentrated. One to three drops. There we go. And we give it a good shake. And it's ready to be used. All right, so what we are gonna be planting in today are these recycled containers. These couple of them, as you can see, already have the holes poked in the bottom. That's for drainage. But I'm gonna wash these quick and then poke some more holes in it and we'll be ready to go. There we go. And just a little bit. There we go. Just need to poke poke some holes in it for the drainage. There we go. And poke and twist. Poke and twist. Three is usually plenty. Alrighty, we've got some nice, good, rich potting soil here. It looks like it's pretty much just peat moss, perlite, and whatever fertilizer that uh, miracle Grow used. So it's pretty easy. First, just fill the container here, and it's, you don't need all that much. You don't want it totally full, just about half, two thirds full. Back it down a little bit, just like that. There we go, more of a top view here. All right, and then what you're gonna do is just take your finger, just like that. And then very carefully, we're going to very slowly remove him, her, whatever she is, they are. Put it down in there. What you want is the strength of the pushing action as it pushes its way out of the soil. It's going to strengthen that root and make it nice and strong. 
and that's basically it. All right, and here it is about 30 days later. And of the 10 that I planted, two of them are totally coming up. 